Ask Reddit. 0.1% doesn't seem much, however, what would horribly, catastrophically, go wrong if it was off by 0.1%? Trying to follow your mom's instructions. Looks at recipe. How much is a smidge? Proton charge plus electron charge. Pretty much all of the universal constants. If they'd abruptly change by such a high percentage, it would cease to exist. Violently or just poof away. Hot water knob and shower. The trajectory of a nuclear warhead. Back in the 50s and 60s that's actually why the warheads were so big. The missiles were only so accurate, so you needed to make a bigger boom in case your missile was off by a mile or two. Close only counts in nuclear war and horseshoes. The United States Postal Service delivers 187.8 million pieces of first class mail per year. If 0.1% of those go missing, that's 187,800 missing items. Did I say per year? I meant per day. Hand sanitizer. That last germ is basically the only survivor of a nuclear attack. Anything NASA does. All that space for sure. We're aiming for the moon, eesh. We didn't go to the moon, because it was easy. We went because we were 99% sure we could. Genetic engineering you freak with 0.1% of genes and your baby has banana eyes. Humans initially all had banana eyes. That's where the phrase keep your eyes peeled comes from. Also, as bananas discolor and start to smell as they age, it's also the origin of the phrase brown eye and stink eye. Disk space on Windows 10 computers with nearly full disk. Windows 10 often uses up several gigabytes of disk space to do things such as install updates and leaves a safe buffer of just 256 megabytes. Now imagine that some Steam game releases an update and you have 0 bytes left in seconds. And 0 bytes free means absolute disaster. It's not like you cannot put anything more on it. Absolutely nothing will save on the disk, and any attempt will generate an error. Websites won't load, because cache won't write to disk. Drivers will crash, because they tried to write some logs. When you turn off your computer, registry will get completely messed up, because it was a few bytes too large to store up. Theoretically, antivirus may fail database update, and start deleting everything, and you'll end up having to reinstall Windows. If 0.1% of all airline flights crashed, there would be around 87 crashes every day. I work in aerospace. I heard once that consumer electronics have a 2% failure rate in the first 2 weeks. If we had a 2% failure rate on every nut and bolt keeping an A320 in the air nobody would fly. It's not exaggerating to say that everything on an aircraft is inspected at an unbelievably high rate compared to any other manufacturing industry. The strong nuclear force, the force that holds the nuclei of atoms together. If the value changed even slightly, just about everything in the universe would cease to exist as we know it. We'd all become giant gas clouds. Isaac Asimov literally wrote a book about it. A worker at my dad's metal processing plant made an error even smaller than that I believe. It was a small metal part for machines that make plastics, so they need to be quite precise. They ran out of one metal length, so they were making the part out of a slightly longer metal to start with and just trimming more of it off for the final product. The initial trim left in excess of 100 microns, which even on a plate, that is 1 inch in size, is just something like 0.003% of the size. A worker failed to double check, since they were so accustomed to the normal metal size being used, and cleared the metal through for the final processing. Well it turns out that excess 0.003% made the material unusable, after it was finished, and it cost the company over $13,000 data on the planet. As of December 2018, there was an estimated 33 zettabytes of data globally. If we lost 0.1% of that, we'd lose. Wait, how the heck do I read that? I'm a lot of bytes of data. To put that in perspective, the Library of Congress is estimated to hold 10 terabytes of data in all printed material. One exabyte is a hundred thousand times all the printed material in the Library of Congress. Alcohol level in blood while driving. Don't drink and drive kids. Can I drink and drive if I'm not driving kids? 
if all of my poops left 0.1% of them inside me, I'd have a full poop left inside me roughly every 3 years. I'd be a walking septic tank by now. But then you poop that out and only leave 0.1% of that, which only comes to a full poop every 3 millennia. But the millennium poop would become a long anticipated event, as it is the freeing of biological material that is valuable in its age. As a fine brandy only ages to perfection in its oak cask, this poop would be wizened beyond compare, and would have refined into the perfect substance. In the future, this will be tantamount to becoming the goose that lays the golden egg. Your guts have graced you with a magnificent treasure, a digestive timeline of your entire life, laying end to end in a brown reflection of what it means to be alive. The Saint. Louis Arch. In 1967 the final piece was lowered in between the two legs of the arch. The arch's two legs were built separately, and if their measurements were off by as little as 1 64th of an inch, they would not have been able to join at the top. The stainless steel pieces of the arch were shipped in via train from Pennsylvania, and had to be assembled on site. Welders had to work extraordinarily carefully, to ensure their measurements were precise the margin of error allowed, was less than half a millimeter. Though the construction workers were sure of their product, many people speculated that the arch would fail when the last piece at the top of the arch was set in place to join the legs. It didn't, of course. Legend has it that a rocket launched by NASA more specifically Mariner 1 exploded during launch because of the emission of a single hyphen. That's less than 0.0005% of all the characters in the rocket's code. It cost 80 million to fix. Carbon content in steel. Steel such as 1095 steel are literally just iron with 0.95% carbon in the composition. A difference of 0.1% carbon content would dramatically change the properties of the steel in question. This is true of other chemicals and alloys, but carbon is the most well known. Centrifuges for nuclear material, of course. The LE5 version as a virus was left on a USB in the parking lot of the Iranian nuclear program, which some poor schmuck popped into his work computer inside the high security facility. It only changed a few small numbers to make the centrifuges operate slightly faster than is safe to causing them to rip apart, destroying huge, important portions of some of the most expensive engineering in human history. It does basically nothing to non-nuclear material producing computers, which is good because it has unexpectedly spread all over the world and may even be on your machine. Yep. That was pretty cool honestly. But really it wasn't 0.1%. The worm would send pulses to the centrifuges while making it appear normal on the DCS panel. Operators didn't know the centrifuges were evving up and then break checking. Basically broke the centrifuges bearing due to fatigue. It exploited an unpatched vulnerability in Siemens SCADA software. The amount of polonium in your body. Unexpected Russian assassin. Rocket angled an extra 0.1% to the left. At larger distances that adds up. Aiming for Saturn. Found Io instead. 0.1% less humans. That is a lot less people. The Leftovers is a TV series about the aftermath of only 2% of the world's population going missing instantly. Super interesting premise. Not to be mistaken by that cooking show from the 60s. Accuracy of computers, 1 in every 1000 bits gets interpreted incorrectly, the stock market would get effed, flight would be impractical and HD videos would be unwatchable. Edit, asterisk by impractical I don't mean impossible, I just mean that modern computation help with keeping things less messy, we could probably work things out with map, compass, and radio. By unwatchable I mean that compression and decompression would make entire frames to not get loaded, and in general the color of many pixels would become different resulting in a very ugly video. A 0.1% daily increase in anything would be a disaster. Imagine every day you'd have 0.1% more cats. If there are, I don't know, 100 million cats now, there would be 144 million in a year 3.8 billion in 10 years 150 billion in 20. A million billion billion cats in 100 years. We'd all be knee deep in a sea of cats. Moving images on a word document. See that nice document over there? It'd sure be a shame if you move. In the 2000 US presidential election between George W. Bush and Al Gore, it came down to what was basically one state in the electoral college. 
whoever took Florida would have enough electoral college votes to put them in the White House until the result in Florida was known, neither side could claim victory, and Florida was close. Like, really close. After recounts and a contentious Supreme Court decision, it was determined that Bush had received 2,912,790 votes to Gore's 2,912,253. In short, the presidency was decided by just 537 votes out of 5.8 million, not a margin of 0.1%, but 0.01%. Depending on your view of the Bush administration, that may very well count as going horribly, catastrophically wrong. A lot of surgeries. Sending someone to Mars. Guys, guys. Sorry, yeah. My math was a little off. Bonehead play by me, right? So now we are going to Jupiter. The concentration of CO2 in the air, all our current problems are a result of it rising from 0.02% to 0.04%. A rise of 0.1% would be beyond catastrophic. There would be no ice anywhere on Earth, the seas would rise hundreds of meters, humans would experience various permanent long-term health effects and presumably so would most other animals. Jungles would cover the entire Earth, including the poles, except where mountains block the rain and there would be unbelievably hot deserts. Get ready for category 6, 7, 8 hurricanes. We haven't experienced a climate like this since the Jurassic. It would be bad. Gravity. Pull to the left by 0.1% and all of engineering is going to have a bad time. Anesthesia. If they don't get it exactly right they can very easily kill you. That's why anesthesiologists make so much money. They don't get paid to put you to sleep. They get paid to wake you up. If 0.1% of all people's hearts stopped. 7.7 .7 million deaths. What's really frightening is, if that is globally distributed, the world wouldn't even take notice. There'd be no noticeable carbon drop off, a lava black death. All we'd have is another year like 2016 where you noticed a lot of funerals. Maybe that's what happened. If it happened all in one place, though, that's a sizable city gone in an instant.